Recently, the list of the 10 richest people in the world has honored a billionaire from Asia. Mr. Mukesh Ambani, India's top richest businessman, ranked ninth on the list with a fortune of up to 90 billion US dollars. Not only was he honored as India's richest billionaire, but Mr. Ambani was also recognized as the owner of the largest fortune in Asia by Forbes magazine. Let's learn more about this billionaire's luxurious life and the way he has spent his money with luxury style in today's video. Mukesh Ambani, born 19th of April 1957, is an Indian tycoon who is the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries, India's largest private company, ranked among the world's 500 largest companies Fortune 500, and one of the largest corporations in the world. Therefore, it is not surprising that billionaire Mukesh Ambani has spent freely. There are even many crazy expenses. In addition to the traditional business areas, the billionaire Ambani's family is implementing a plan to build the world's largest zoo in Gujarat, where his family is living. According to Mr. Parimal Nathwani, director of the Reliance Company, the Flora and Fauna Conservation Complex is expected to open in 2023. According to the plan, the reserve will raise rare animals such as Komodo dragons, cheetahs, and precious birds. The zoo will be home to more than 100 different species of animals, birds, and reptiles from around the world. The project is being implemented on a 280-acre 113 hectares plot of land near the oil refinery project at Moti Kavdi. Miss Rebecca Gooch, the research director at Camden Wealth, said that Asia's richest family has excess economic power to pour money into seemingly outlandish projects. Investing in public space makes the image of the family and their corporation more beautiful. It also affirms the position of the wealthy and strengthens the family's legacy in the future, she said. The Ambani's family mansion, called Antilia, is legendary. According to Economic Times, this building has up to 27 floors and is considered the most expensive private house in the world. This is the main residence of the family members. Antilia is estimated to have cost up to 1 billion US dollars to build. This is considered the second most expensive real estate in the world after Buckingham Palace in the United Kingdom. In addition to the amenities of the rich, such as a movie theater, an indoor garage, and a ballroom, the Ambani family also designed a snow room to avoid India's hot weather. Here, they can relax with artificial snow. The 27-story house requires a large amount of manpower to manage and clean. The Ambani family is said to have hired up to 600 employees to work from chefs to cleaners, waiters, and fitness instructors. The billionaire family also provides accommodations to several employees, including Mukesh's security team. The name Antilia was inspired by the legendary island in the Atlantic Ocean. Due to its splendid design and decoration of this private residence, many people also call Antilia a luxurious palace. The building is 173 meters high has 27 floors, and is designed to withstand a maximum earthquake of up to 8 on the Richter scale. There are three helipads on the top floor. Inside there is a private temple, a ballroom, a cinema, an ice room to beat the Indian heat, a spa room, a yoga room, a dance room, and the bottom six floors used to display the billionaire Mukesh Ambani's collection of 168 supercars. It's not strange that it takes 600 employees to serve and operate this luxurious palace. This collection includes many expensive cars, such as Mercedes AMG, G63, Range Rover Vogue, Land Rover Discovery Sport, and BMW X5. All are packed at the family's two billion US dollar building called Antilia in Mumbai's city. In particular, Mr. Ambani's family supercars are all covered with bulletproof coating to ensure the safety of members anywhere. 
the custom armored BMW 760 Li alone cost 1.4 million US dollars. One of the most expensive cars in the world. The registration fee for this car alone is 251,000 US dollars. Ambani is considered a national asset and has his own security team. According to the South China Morning Post in India, Mr. Ambani is considered a national asset. He began receiving special security protection from the government after receiving an anonymous threatening letter in 2008. Not only does Mukesh Ambani hire his own security team, but he also enjoys the government's Z Plus security regime, a regime for high-ranking officials including judges, mayors, and politicians. This regime is divided into four classes, which regulate the number of security personnel, types of vehicles and weapons provided for protection. The highest rank is Z+, only for some special cases like the Indian Prime Minister. Currently, only 17 people are entitled to the Z+, regime. With Z+, the character will be protected by 55 security personnel including at least 10 senior national security officers working 24-7. These employees are allowed to carry heavier weapons than employees at regular security companies. However, the government's decision to allow Mr. Ambani to enjoy security status faced many criticisms from public opinion. The Indian government has been accused of favoring elites and allowing them to buy the protection of national security personnel. In court documents, the Indian government defended this decision because Mr. Ambani faced death threats. Despite enjoying 24-7 security, Mr. Ambani must pay his own salaries for senior national security officers, estimated at about 22,000 a month, and provide them with accommodation. For more peace of mind, this billionaire even hired retired national security officers to protect him. Besides, all of his cars are armored and bulletproof. Spend a lot of money buying a gift for his wife's birthday. For Ambani family members, even the first class cabin of a commercial airline does not seem to meet their requirements. According to Mumbai Mirror, Mukesh gave his wife, Miss Nita, a Boeing business jet as a birthday gift GQ India said that this plane was so large that it was likened to a luxurious hotel room in the air. Inside is a fully equipped 100 meter square space, including an office, a private bedroom, and a modern bathroom. To have space for the aircraft, Mukesh did not even hesitate to build an airport right on the rooftop of the Antilia mansion. Few people know that before becoming the wife of Asia's richest billionaire, Miss Nita Ambani came from a middle-class family in Western India. She was a Bharatnatyam dancer, India's oldest dance. Although she came from an ordinary background, she quickly captured the heart of Mukesh Ambani, the son of an Indian billionaire. She got married when she was only 22 years old. In the early years of her marriage, she proved her talent and affirmed her position in her husband's family. Despite not being directly involved in business with her husband, Miss Nita is said to have contributed to creating a positive image for the Indian billionaire in the eyes of the public. Miss Nita is currently the principal of Dhirubhai Ambani International School, as well as the president of the Reliance Foundation a charity organization under her husband's Reliance Industries Corporation. Miss Nita is also a member of the board of directors of Reliance Geo Infocom, the telecommunications arm of oil and gas giant Reliance Industries. In 2016, Miss Nita Ambani was listed as one of the most influential business leaders in Asia by Forbes magazine. The first lady of the Ambani family also co-owns the famous Mumbai Indians cricket team and has made many contributions to improving health and education in rural India through charitable activities. In 2017, she received the prestigious Rashtriya Kel Prostahan Award from the President of India for the contributions of the Reliance Foundation in the fields of education and health. 
She was also honored for her work in charity, education, and promotion of the arts by the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Although she always teaches her children to live modestly and often does charity work, Miss Nita still knows how to enjoy the life of the upper class. Billionaire Mukesh Ambani's wife is famous for her hobby of buying expensive clothes, handbags, and collecting vintage tea sets. Currently, Miss Nita owns a tea set from one of Japan's oldest brands, Noritake, priced at about 200,000 US dollars. In addition, Nita also has a special love for watches. The businesswoman has been spotted many times wearing different watches from famous brands, such as Cartier, Bulgari, and Gucci. According to SCMP, one of the habits of the Indian tycoon's wife is to never wear the same pair of shoes a second time. Instead, she maintains a large collection of her favorite shoe brands, including many luxurious brands such as Padro, Jimmy Choo, Merlin, and so on. As the wife of Asia's richest man, Indian billionaire Mukesh Ambani, Miss Nita is known as the first lady of the Ambani family, one of the 10 richest families on the planet with her ageless beauty and young figure, smooth skin and stylish fashion sense. The wife of India's most powerful businessman, the owner of the multi-industry business empire, Reliance Industries, always becomes the focus every time she appears. Miss Nita once bought her husband a Mercedes Maybach 62 for about 730,000 US dollars. This is one of 168 supercars that the Ambani family owns. At her son's wedding in 2019, Miss Nita gave her daughter-in-law Shloka Mehta a 407 carat diamond bracelet as a wedding gift the necklace is called L'Incomparable and sets a Guinness World Record as the most expensive necklace on the planet at 55 million. Last year, Miss Nita was also given an Airbus A319 worth 60 million US dollars by her husband on her 56th birthday. Miss Nita currently has a perfect life with her powerful husband and three talented children, Anant, Isha, and Akash. They are all considered talented young businessmen and bright heirs of the Ambani family. Miss Nita's daughter-in-law and son-in-law are also talented people, coming from prestigious families. In 2005, three years after his father's death, Mukesh Ambani was given the right to take over the family company. At the time, Reliance was already a successful petrochemical company, but virtually unknown abroad. More than a decade later, Ambani started a project that made him one of the most talked about figures in Silicon Valley, GEO, a telecommunications network established in 2016, quickly surpassed all competitors to become India's largest network operator. Ambani hopes GEO will become India's answer to China's Alibaba, a technology giant born in one of the world's fastest growing internet markets. According to the Financial Times, for two Facebook executives, Fisher and Mohan, joining hands with Geo, which is considered a game changer, is an opportunity that cannot be missed. After many efforts, in April 2020, Facebook reached an agreement to invest 5.7 billion US dollars in Geo. This was Facebook's largest foreign investment ever. After that, dozens of other foreign investors, including Google, signed agreements to invest billions of dollars in Geo. For Mukesh, these deals mark a career pinnacle in his efforts to turn his father's energy company into a multi-sector corporation suitable for 21st century realities. In addition to its dominant position in the energy and telecommunication industries, Reliance also operates India's largest retailer, Besides, Mukesh and his family also own many news channels, a school, a hospital, and a very successful cricket team called Mumbai Indians. However, as much as he is admired, Ambani is also controversial. Ambani's ambitions are linked to India's ambitions. His determination to succeed 
also means that he's not afraid of drowning out those who get in his way, including his own younger brother. In the process of enriching himself, Mbani is clearly aware of the benefits he brings to the country. In 2018, he argued that Geo was the strongest motivation for changes in India today. The message that can be drawn from this statement is that saying no to Mukesh Ambani's business development is saying no to India's economic growth. Mukesh's wide-ranging business interests, as well as his enormous political influence, mean he is now seen as a gateway into India's burgeoning digital economy. After completing capital raising for Geo, Ambani is now raising billions more from large investors for the group's retail segment. However, critics fear that the empire that Ambani is building could monopolize and crush all competitors, leading to losses that Indian consumers must suffer. Few people know that to have such a huge fortune, Mukesh Ambani had to work tirelessly for decades. Moreover, he was also dragged into a struggle for power and property with his younger brother, Anil Ambani. After his father, Mr. Dhirubhai Ambani, died without leaving a will, it is true that rich families do not always enjoy the happiness and prosperity equivalent to their huge assets. After the death of Mr. Dhirubhai, the founder of Reliance nearly five decades ago, the fraternity turned fractious. The two split the family empire, and from two close brothers, they became direct competitors. Since then, the relationship between Mukesh and Anil has begun to become strained. The two rushed to fight over the inheritance their father left behind. This war only ended in 2005, when Miss Kokilabin and Bani, the mother of both, decided to intervene. Both agreed to divide the company's assets in half. Mukesh would have petrochemical and mining businesses, and Anil would own financial services, power generation, and telecommunications. In 2007, according to Forbes India's estimates, Anil's net worth tripled up to 45 billion. This helped him become the third richest citizen of India. His brother, Mukesh Ambani, at that time only had $4 billion in hand. Possessing a lot of money, Anil spent money on film production activities. He became one of the main backers of Steven Spielberg's DreamWorks Pictures. Sometimes he invited celebrities to watch premieres at his home, and Mukesh was not seen among the guests. Despite dividing their assets in half, the relationship between the two Ambani brothers was still constantly tense. Fierce competition in business sometimes caused the brothers' relationship to become hostile. In 2008, Anil sued his brother in court for defamation after Mr. Mukesh had criticized his brother in the New York Times. In 2010, once again Mr. Anil and Mr. Mukesh sued each other in the Supreme Court of India. Their mother, Kokilabin, again had to step in to resolve tensions and set non-competing terms between her two sons. Over the past 13 years, Mukesh Ambani started his new ventures like Reliance Retail and Reliance Geo and expanded his core oil and gas businesses under Reliance Industries, which now generates nearly $6 billion in annual net profit. Meanwhile, Anil Ambani lost money in his telecom venture and expanded into unrelated businesses such as infrastructure and defense manufacturing that left his companies heavily indebted and had difficulty handling debt, leading to the collapse of many subsidiaries. In the first three days of 2019, room number six in the New Delhi Supreme Court building was packed with people. The crowd there witnessed Anil who was no longer a billionaire, was summoned to answer criminal charges over $80 million in debt. Several months of negotiations later, and Anil almost imprisoned, he and Mukesh reached an agreement. In a press release, Anil thanked his brother for paying his $80 million debt. Mukesh Ambani has become an Indian business tycoon, recognized for his contributions to commerce and industry. 
living up to his role as Mr. Dirabai's son is not an easy task. As navigating his way in the business world, Mukesh Ambani said that his father, Mr. Dirabai, was his inspiration, even after his death. The video time is up. What do you think about the huge wealth and luxurious life of Asia's richest man, Mukesh Ambani? Please leave your comments below the video. See you again in Luxury Style's latest video.